Is, is that it? You're leaving? I mean, you can leave if you want. <laughs> well, I got my drink. Bye. <laughs> All right. Aloha folks, welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. It's good to have you back here again. Last episode we made the Breezeway Cocktail Hour cocktail. That's like the best name that I came up for it. I hope you guys had a chance to try that. I know you need Dr. Burton, you need Hamilton White Stash for the cocktail. I'm so curious to see what you guys thought of it. Anyway, tonight we come back to Trader Vic's and we have a guest that's gonna come on the show that we haven't seen for almost a whole year now, or maybe over a year. But I'd love to welcome to the show my dear friend, Miss Tiffany Toth. Hey. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? Good. I'm good. Oh, good. How are you? It's <laughs> <laughs> awkward. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. It's been like a year since you've been on the show. It has. Did you get a lot of people like recognizing you from the show nonstop? Oh my God. It, it's crazy. Like I went to in and out one day and just lined up. Like, oh, you're that girl oh. from that Tiki. Yeah, I know. Tiki drink that, show. That's how famous we are now. <laughs> so we have spent a lot of time shooting photos together. Yes, we have. And we're going to shoot some more photos tonight. The drink doesn't get to me and I'm too tired. We'll <laughs> too see what tired, happens. Yeah. <laughs> so have you ever been to a Trader Vic's before? I have not. I've seen photos, but I have not been. There's a famous picture of your old friend standing with his girlfriends at Trader Vic's. And who would that be? You don't want to touch this, do you? <laughs> Mr. Hugh Hefner. Okay. You want to just jump right into it? Let's make a drink. Last time I couldn't actually drink the drink. I know, you faked it. You were yeah, fake. Yeah, I was actually fake sipping our drink last time. So that was kind of hard to do. I was like, oh, can't, nope. <laughs> so this time I can, I can actually drink the drink. You were so convincing with your reaction. <laughs> I'm a good actress, that's why. Mm. I've taken mm. acting classes. It wasn't that convincing. What do you mean? You thought I was drinking it. Oh, wait, what are we making? Um, so we are making the macadamia nut chi-chi. Ooh, you got it right. Macadamia nut chi-chi. We were okay. so worried about, like, remember that name. Well, it's kind of a tongue twister, so mm. it's like macadamia nut chi-chi. Mm -hmm. Mac Mac macadamia nut chi-chi. Yes. And so for this cocktail, we will be using pineapple juice, macadamia nut liqueur. Liqueur. Kettle one vodka. Cream of coconut. So for this cocktail, we're going to be doing something kind of different. We're going to be building it in... A blender thing. Blender thing? It's a blender. <laughs> but we're going to build it in the thing. Okay. What do you call that thing? The blender. Well, isn't that the blender? Well, this is the... I don't know. It's a blender. Just come on. Don't, don't be difficult. The reason why this is different is because usually we use the top-down spindle mixer, mm -hmm. which is more of something that introduces air to the drink. And this one <laughs> actually, like, blends it like a slushy. Okay. You like slushies? Or like slushy drinks? Yeah, yeah. 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 So this recipe is for two cocktails. We're going to do eight ounces of unsweetened pineapple juice. I've been told by so many viewers, they're like, why are you using the Dole stuff? Use the stuff from Trader Joe's. It's like fresher. So this yeah. is the stuff. But we need four more of those. Oh, OK. Yeah. All right. We need you. eight. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, how many was that? One more. Wait, wait, are you sure? Yeah. Totally sure. Okay. I'm professional. All right. It does smell different than the Dole stuff. That's because this is better. This is actually just pineapple. Oh. Dole is, I don't, I don't drink Dole. Oh, let's do the goo next. Would that be, this is the goo? Yeah, that is the okay. goo. And we oh need... gosh, wait, hold on. I want to see what's in this. Oh my God. Okay. Well, you're having one, right? This isn't like, no, I know, you're changing but your I whole mean, diet. I, I read labels and you know. You probably shouldn't read the labels. This is. Do you know what's in this? Where's the coconut? There's literally no coconut in this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, we need two ounces of that. Okay. I don't remember you being this difficult before. Mm, I've changed. Two? Yep. Two ounces of cream of coconut. And there's okay. probably a healthier version of this also. I'm sure there, you could probably honestly just use coconut cream, like mm -hmm. in the can and you keep it in the fridge until mm -hmm. it's hard oh. and then use that instead. Do you remember last time we were making cocktails and you're like, this is a dash and you just, you just a like- A dash is a splash. No, it's not. Just a dash. A dash for Tiffany is just, what the f is a dash? So you just look at it and dash, so you don't measure. So, 
that was like a blop, but <laughs> we'll call it a dash. Well, it was so much alcohol. That's Company. what everybody always says when I make drinks. They would always say that it tasted like, what was it? So much alcohol? Like lighter fluid or something? I don't know, but I, if I'm gonna have a drink, I wanna be able to kind of taste the alcohol a little bit. Yeah. Because otherwise you're just drinking sugar for no reason. Oh, okay. So. That's a good point. Our friends from Instagram land, T Bricks and his lovely wife, Kelly, got this for the show. So this is put out by Trader Vic's. It's macadamia nut liqueur. And um, I haven't had this stuff in probably a decade. It's a brand new bottle. You like macadamia nut? I do. I always make like chocolate with macadamia nuts. Like you know how you get in Hawaii? Mm -hmm. I always make those at home. Oh, there. There you go. Oh, what would you call that? Oh, it smells good. It, would you call that like a plastic cork? It's just, it's, yeah, it's kind of like a like a wine bottle. Oh. Yep. What do you like in general? What do you think about like corks? What do I think about corks? What do you mean? Yeah, just like in general, like. I don't know. I drink wine and there's corks in them. Is this like a like a joke? <laughs> no, it's just okay. not very funny. It's not <laughs> a very funny joke. But you, you don't really have like a general opinion about. No. Why? Would you prefer like a screw like a screw top? Oh yeah, I I can never get the corks out of the wine bottles, so oh. I I prefer a twist off. But that was well, I can't say it was easy because I couldn't get it. Yeah. But that seemed a little easier than a wine bottle. Okay. Why do I feel like this is gonna lead to a joke? You asking about corks? I don't know. Okay. She's very untrusting of me tonight. All right, we need two and a half ounces of this stuff. Okay, two and a half. So about yeah. about right there. Yeah. Okay. And then. Perfect. Okay. Do you think that's two and a half that we did? It was almost at the top. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll call that two and a half. You okay. can add a splash or a dash or whatever you call it. We're not letting you do any <laughs> splashes or dashes. Okay. Okay, and so for the alcohol tonight, we're gonna do vodka. Like vodka. We know that Chi-Chi's have vodka in them. It's not a typical alcohol choice for Tiki. You like vodka? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. No. Yeah. Okay, four ounces of that, please. Four ounces? So, yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay. Another one? Yeah, one more. It's actually quite a bit. It's for two drinks. Oh, okay. Sorry. So that's the cocktail. Like no squeezing fruit or anything like that. I mean, there's fruit juice in the pineapple juice. So what we're gonna do is we are going to put some ice in here, blend it, and then uh, pour it into some specialty glassware. Okay. Okay. I, I need wait to, get... to see this glassware. Oh. All right, we're gonna scoop some ice into this thing here. Is that the special ice that you always get? This is ice from Sonic. You should just get one of those ice machines at this point. Why, what, are they expensive? A viewer friend of the show, okay. our buddy Luigi, just bought us a pebble ice maker. Really? So where is it? It hasn't been hooked up yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm super excited oh, about nice. it. nice. Thank you so much, dude. That was really an amazing gift. We're gonna blend this until it's slushy, so. Okay. Oh. You think that's good? Yeah, I think we overfilled oh, it. You, oh, you overfilled it's it? It's coming out. Yeah, it is. Okay, so you're supposed to make this cocktail in a 10-pin Pilsner glass. You ever seen one of these before? I, I mean, not like this small on the bottom. Do you know why it's called a 10-pin Pilsner glass? No. Is it because upside down it's... Do you know now? Yeah, like a, a bowling pin. Yeah. yeah. And then the other glass, we're gonna use a squall glass. Which one would you like to drink out of? Um, let's see, how would my life be different if I chose mm -hmm. this one? It's okay. I'll do this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. The fancy curvy one. I haven't used one of these in so long. I'm like, I... What, the blender? Yeah. Like a normal blender? I hate blender? using blenders. It's do just you? so much work and then you gotta wash it. I know. I don't know what it is. I just, it takes up too much room in the kitchen. This totally feels like a by the pool drink, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't really feel like a dark tiki bar drink so much as a. It almost Marriott reminds Hotel. me if like you went on a cruise. It feels like a cruise drink. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't For it? For sure. Yeah. Except on a cruise, they jip you on the alcohol. Oh. So we poured a lot more than they would. Totally. Okay. How are we gonna garnish this? So we have the cherries. We do have the cherries, but let me get. I, I got us uh, pineapple. So I got some pineapple slices from the store. Okay. And I ate all the other ones because they're super tasty. So how are we gonna? 
What we're gonna do is we are going to run skewer through and I'm gonna use the Trader Vic's one here. And then I got these giant, they're giant maraschino cherries. Are they? Yeah. Okay. So it says giant ones. Yeah. I think it's for making like cherry pie or something. Do you, do you know how these are made? I don't really wanna. They're just not good for you. Yeah, I mean, I don't... And I used to eat these so much as a kid. Really? Like Shirley Temple's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when you do a skewer like that and... Okay. And then do, do a I cherry... Do I have a pretty skewer or I no. just use this? You don't have to use that one. Okay. I apologize. All righty. Ooh, okay. that's such a big cherry. That's really exciting. Ooh, cherry. And then like that. Yep. Tweak. Cool. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah. And then we're going to do some mints. Let me get you some mint here. There you go. Do you know what you're supposed to do with mint? Honestly, like anytime I've ever had a drink with like a garnish, you just take it off and you drink the drink. So when you are gonna garnish with mint, you wanna mm -hmm. give it a smack. It breaks down the cell fibers and releases oils. Okay. See all of a sudden you can smell it? Mm-hmm, yep. So you wouldn't be able to smell it without that. Yeah. It's a scent thing. Okay, and then we're just gonna put it down behind. So pretty. Rad. And so from Trader Vic's, this is the, what's it called? Macadamia Nut Chi Chi. Macadamia nut chi chi. All right. Cheers. Cheers. What the hell? What? Why can't I sip through the straw? Oh, you didn't get any? That's good. Holy cow, I can't get. Oh, okay. What, is Can the straw you... broken? I don't know. I don't know. Is there a creature in there? <laughs> I think it's just, it's like, it needs to kind of melt down a little bit. Mm. It's good though. <laughs> That's yeah. really good. It's super good. It's really creamy. You get like a hint of the macadamia. Yeah. It's like drinking cookies. Kind of. Kind of. No, not really. Mm. There, I don't know what happened. Something was in it, but it's good now. Oh, okay. Yeah, it tastes really good. Good. Hold on. I don't know what's going on here. Do you get something jammed in? I there? think it's your ice. What the? Do we need a new straw for you? I'm working way too hard for this. Oh my right god! Now. Okay, hold on. Here's a brand new straw from Thank Surfside you. Sips. Oh, nice. Yeah. And if this you'd like to order one of these straws from Surfside Sips, type in Breezeway at checkout, and then you'll get a discount. Yeah, that's better. It's pretty. I like the straw. Yeah, me too. Mm. It's a good drink, right? Mm-hmm. You just eat the pineapple? Mm-hmm. Well, I was gonna eat the cherry and then I thought about it, so I went for the pineapple. Do you like the Luxardo cherries? No, what's that one? Oh. What is that one? Do you have them? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've bought those. Oh. Yeah. You've had these before? Mm-hmm, yeah. I remember they were out of these, so yeah. I got those and they're a little bit pricier. Yeah. <laughs> a like, lot pricier. I was like, what is going on? Because I, I was like, why are these ones so much more expensive? Because they're so much more tasty. But you can tell the difference, I mean. I think there's a time for the red ones. Cause these are kind of like black cherry color. This is, I, I would feel like this is a little more like gourmet. Yeah. You know, and this is just kind of like every day, like if you're at a bar and you're making some like colorful drink and you just throw those in there. For this cocktail, I think these are great. These are made in Italy. Those are probably made in USA. Torrance. USA. I mean, these are definitely better for you. Yeah, but you don't want to eat like no. a jar of them. No, I kind of want to try though. Okay. I don't think I ever actually tried it though. Like I bought them and then where are they? They're in there. That is an aggressive cherry grabbing technique you have. <laughs> I'm bound to get one by stabbing them. Do you have a favorite tiki bar? I go to Trader Sam's a lot. Oh, yeah. I don't know, it's cute and their mm -hmm. food's really good. And they have all the drinks. They have the painkiller that I like. Yep, um, what, but what's it called there? Uh, the. Wait, is it the tiki, 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 tiki? Ooh, that's way too many tikis. No, I know, but when I okay. ordered it, I remember saying, I'd like to get the tiki, 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 something like that. And he was yeah. like, oh, wow, you said the right amount of tikis. It was like a lot of tikis. Yeah, but but how many is it? Oh, I don't remember. You can't do it right now? I don't know how many tikis it was. It's from the song. I don't know the song. Yeah, you, in the tiki, 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 tiki room. I don't know why I sing it so high. In the tiki, 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 tiki room? Yeah. Well, Four one more tiki? tiki. No, one Wait. more tiki. That cherry tasted better. <laughs> a lot better. Okay. Sing the song. Or s tell me. I really don't know this song. In the tiki, 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 tiki room. So it's. Tiki, 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 tiki room. So five? Yeah. Okay. So it's the tiki. So is that why there was, there's five tikis? Yeah. So, okay. so what's the drink called? I don't know. I just remember ordering tiki, 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 and I just kept tiki and tiki. 
I, I don't know. She's very I angry just, with me. I've never <laughs> I seen her like know. this. It's called the tiki 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 rum. Okay, okay. Because that was their painkiller drink. That's what they call it there. Yeah. Okay, because I remember I was like, oh, okay, this is a painkiller drink, but I remember ordering tiki 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 tiki. Tiki. Yeah. <laughs> I was what? like, I was all excited. I was like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and yeah, I thought it was pretty good to yeah. say another one. And then there was also a little small tiki bar at the district, I think. Oh, like a yeah. little back room. It's like pretty small. That's my buddy Leonard's place. Okay. Uh, it's called Stowaway. I think so, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it used to be called Hatch. Okay. And they just invited me to the US Bartenders Guild conference or something. Okay. As their guest. Hmm. Because I'm such a good bartender. Yeah. I mean, I got a show. Okay, I want more of this. Do you want any more of this? Well, I'm still working on this. You know, we don't coordinate tonight. What do you Usually mean? we kind of like our outfits match a little bit. Usually, like, and, like the last. We're like clashing like with patterns. We're... Like we're like a mess. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I wore my pink one last yeah. episode, I think. Where do you get your Hawaiian shirts? I get them on Etsy, and I get them in orange, and I get them in oh, Long okay. Beach at state sales, all mm -hmm. kinds of places. Yeah, everybody wants like the secret place, and I'm like, it's you just kind of have to keep your eyes out. Do you do a lot of vintage shopping? I'm going to this weekend because mm -hmm. I want to get some Christmas stuff. Oh, where are you going? I don't know yet. Like, if you go to the antique stores, mm -hmm. it's more expensive, but you find what you want. But I also, I have fun with the, like, going to the hole in the wall, like, thrift store, and then, like, finding something, and it's, it's like, cheap, and you're like, oh, my God. Like, that, that yeah. girl I sent you the video where she was so excited about the bowl she found. Yeah, she was super excited like, about the bowl. Like, over this bowl, she was yeah. like, Huffing and puffing because she found this yeah. this like vintage bowl. For years when I was in college, I like when I first learned about Tiki, I would go to this thrift store. Okay. There were like three thrift stores in Stockton and it was before eBay existed. Like okay. eBay wasn't a thing. Yeah. And I started learning about Tiki mugs and I would come out of there with like armfuls of Tiki mugs for $2, $3. See, I feel like people have caught on to stuff. So you can't it's find super good caught things on. anymore. Yeah, that yeah. was 20 years ago. And 20 years ago, sounds like a long time ago, but. It's actually not though, it went by pretty quick. <laughs> it went by super quick. When eBay started, all of a sudden these people were looking up the things that were selling well, and I yeah. think Tiki was one of them. But you know what, you see, because I go on eBay a lot, like you see things on there, but mm. they're not necessarily selling. Right. Not always, like it's back in the day, I remember yeah, yeah. like, do you remember Beanie Babies? <laughs> do you remember? Oh yeah, I, I remember they were a thing. <laughs> remember like, housewives were like collecting Beanie Babies? Yeah. Yeah. Were you collecting those? No, my mom did. Oh, <laughs> and, no. I, and like I go antique shopping, I'm like, oh look, there's your beanie baby. It's still like the same price. That... But there was a giant market for a minute. Like they were worth a ton. But I'm like, what? I'm like, are you rich from your beanie babies? Like really? She didn't cash out at the right time. I, they're just sitting there on the shelf no, collecting no. dust. Probably two years ago, I was in a thrift store in Irvine. Yeah. Which does not seem like the hotbed of tiki yeah. collecting. So a couple of my coworkers and I would go to the same thrift store and I'd never find anything. Like maybe I'd find a, a record, like something. Anyway, I turned the corner and for the first time in almost 20 years was a tiki mug. Did you huff and puff too? Like you were uh, so I was, excited, yeah. like is this happening? I was the girl in the video with her bowl. <sighs> So what, so what we're talking about is this video. It's this girl that she's a thrifter and she found this. It's like a mid-mod thing. It's probably a designer yeah. bowl. So I, I, I get so why she, she was excited. she finds it and she's just like, like she can't breathe because this bowl that she found. So yeah. she's like losing her mind over this bowl. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I want that kind of excitement for, I'm sure that's how you felt about the tiki mug. It is exactly yeah. how I felt, but it took me 20 years to have that excitement again, <laughs> which is so frustrating because I know a lot of you out there live in places where you can still go to thrift stores and find tiki mugs, but in Orange County, in Los Angeles. Especially LA, I feel like. Yeah. You're not gonna find any good things, but. Everything in the thrift stores is like 80s, 90s. Yeah. More even 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. I go in there trying to find stuff for like my recreations. Oh yeah. So I have to find like specific things mm -hmm. and like I'll find them, but then I'm like, what they're asking for it. I'm like, are you serious? What at thrift stores or not at the thrift mugs? store? Yeah, if you go to an actual antique shop, you'll find what you're looking for. Right. But you uh, pay more. It depends. I think. Yeah, I think it just depends. I was in an antique mall in Dana Point. No, San Juan Capistrano yesterday actually. Yeah. And it was the most expensive antique mall I've ever yeah. been to in my life. But it was like literally downtown San Juan Capistrano. Yeah. It wasn't off the road in Las Vegas or like in Tennessee or something. 
I just want to find like a good one. Well, the ones in orange are really good. They are. So there's mm -hmm. one there. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's the one. It's two stories. Yeah. And they have like every section is like they really curated. Yeah, it's just, yeah. and ever since I was a little kid, I would go there. And I, oh, it's, right. my, it's been my favorite since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. So I hope they don't get rid of that because they're kind of getting rid of a lot of them. Yeah. Well, that, so that's yeah. the only thing. They're turning them into restaurants. I don't know. I, I just hope they don't get rid of that one because I think that's the best one. It's funny because a lot of the cool places that people want to be at, yeah. Like places like the Sunset Strip became really cool because of a culture that they're erasing. They're getting rid of the rock clubs mm -hmm. and like tattoo shops and they're putting up apartment complexes. Yeah. And I think the same thing's happening in Orange too. Yeah. Really. Cause I remember as a kid <clears throat> going there mm -hmm. and it was just antique shops. Yeah. Now it's more restaurants. I know. Which there's good restaurants there. Mm -hmm. And then at Christmas time it's cute. And mm -hmm. I'm actually planning on going there this weekend though. I want to get like a bunch of like the little Christmas fawns. Yeah. They're so cute. Your recreation photos that you do though. Yes. So you don't use professional photographer. You are the professional photographer. Well, okay. So sometimes I have had help mm -hmm. if it's really that difficult, but I typically I'll set up like a tripod and then I'll use a remote, but yeah. <laughs> there's been times like, it's actually funny because some of the hardest ones that I've recreated are the ones that I, I use the remote. Oh. So there's one that, it was a Halloween one. Mm -hmm. I was like covered up in like a white, it was like a sexy ghost or something. Mm. I don't know. Sexy ghost. You can, you can pull it up. But I actually, instead of Photoshopping it, I like use like fabric stiffener and I made this outfit and oh. I'm like holding this outfit and trying to use my remote. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was really hard. Describe what these things are. I like to recreate vintage pinups. Mm -hmm. I shoot everything myself. I make the sets. I make the outfits, mm -hmm. I do the hair and makeup, mm -hmm. and sometimes I include my dogs. So I'm yeah. actually working on one right now, and that's gonna include one of my dogs. I don't know which one yet, whoever's the best candidate for it. How many dogs do you have? I have five. <laughs> so dogs. one's bound to get the job. So I hope to shoot that one this weekend. Uh -huh. So I already, I made the outfit, I got all the accessories, got all the props, so I just gotta shoot it. What's that Instagram account called? Uh, Tiffany Recreates. Yeah, it's like my favorite thing. I love yeah. looking at this. I stuff could post does. more on it, and I hope to. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of starting to show the process a little more mm -hmm. because instead of just the photo, kind of the process of how I do it. You also have like a giant Instagram account for your modeling stuff, mm -hmm. but I think we've all become a little bit disillusioned with like Instagram modeling yeah, it's stuff. Just I don't know. I'm getting a little over it. It's yeah. just it's nice to be out and living life and not on your phone all the time, so. But the, the Tiffany recreate stuff is really fun. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a fun hobby. It It's funny because I didn't really plan it. I just, my first one I did was the Copper Tone Baby. Oh really, you did that? Yes. I don't so, feel like I saw that. It was either the Copper Tone Baby or the Breakfast at Tiffany's. I don't oh, remember. And yeah. I used my dogs in both of them. Oh wow. Yeah. So, How'd you get your dogs to pull like? So the Copper Tone Baby, I used my oldest Marley. So basically I shot myself with my bikini bottom like being pulled by something. Like I had like a little hook and like something I had it like pulling on something and I shot it in my garage. Yeah. And then I had him playing tug of war with a sock and then I photoshopped him in. Oh wow. But a lot of times he actually is in the shot yeah. doing what he's doing. But that one I, I had to. Like a composite thing. Yeah, I think I put like treats in a sock and then I was like, hey, let's play tug of war. And then I got the shot of him like pulling and mm -hmm. then I just photoshopped him in. I love that. So I do yeah. the editing too. Seriously, check it out. I love the stuff that she does. It's super fun. Tiffany recreates. Yeah. Follow Tiffany on Instagram at Tiffany Toth XOXO, as well as Tiffany recreates. And did you see, look at this. Is that your, your new? Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the mug for the, nice. this is the mug for the breezeway cocktail hour. It's the, it's, we should have, we could have used this. Well, we're, we got the, but then you don't see the, mm -hmm. yeah, no, it looks nice. Thanks. It's a prototype. Uh, it's modeled after that guy. Oh, so cool. Yeah. So I'm hoping that there's still some of these available, but if you are interested in a Breezeway Cocktail Hour Tiki Mug, go to our store. There's a link in the description below. I guess that's all. Yep. Thanks for coming back. Yeah. Thanks for, uh... I don't know. <laughs> there's a little vodka in here. <laughs> so, uh... I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs>
What, what were you gonna say? <laughs> your macadamia nut, and you say it, look, look here. Look here. You did it, you knew? How'd you know? Cause I know everything. How do you say it? Maricino? <laughs> was that, an ant? Yeah, there was an ant. <laughs> One of the cocoa. <laughs> okay. You know that that's gonna be in the video. <laughs> Do we want to check this first and s before we like move on? Like, what if? Can we just see? No. What if our outfits look bad? Like, what, what's your other outfits? Let's look. All right, so we're blending it in the blender. We're gonna mix it in the blender. Blend in the blender. Mm -hmm. And what's going on here? Pull it straight off. Here, I, I can't get it, and I'm worried if uh, I. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. Okay, and so for tonight, what? <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Where'd she go? Oh. Okay. <laughs> the okay. ants are getting drunk. <laughs> <laughs> the ants are stoked. I don't know what he said. He's dumb. Oh, maybe I should do it this way. Ah! Oh, cool. <laughs> can't do with my left hand. I don't think Tiffany trusts me. I was asking about corks and she's like, what kind of question is this? What'd you say? What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. What'd you say? I'm gonna see it. I know you're gonna see it. You're just gonna be in a different town when you see it. Mm. It's really creamy, you get it. A... I don't know what kind of bootleg straw he has here. But that's like the same. So okay, so for ye sorry, I'm gonna yell. At you. <laughs> Follow Tiffany at Tip. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> um. So what we have to do now is shoot sexy slow motion stuff for you. What does that entail? You. What do you mean? How often do you watch my show? A slow motion. So like. Like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, I like that, but it'll be at the end of the show. You haven't watched a whole lot of these, these No, shows I have, either. I have seen your show. I was on your show before, I've she seen was, it. Yeah. What have you changed? Hmm. What are you talking about? I, I would say in the last 50 or so, I've been doing these uh, slow motion things at the end. Okay, and so what does that entail? Liqueur. 